Morning. Karen Danilchuk from the University of Western Ontario. I think uh, there's no disputing the notion that we live in um, a global society now, no longer defined by nations and borders. And the concept or the cliche that the world is getting smaller uh, really has the connotation that uh, globalization affects every aspect of life, including sport. We look around us at international sporting events such as the Olympic Games, FIFA World Cup, uh, Ryder Cup, Le Tour de France. Uh, it's pretty evident um, that sport is really a global industry. We've got import and export of talents around the world. We have partnership and sponsorship agreements amongst various countries. Uh, global brands are pervasive and the list goes on. If you look even at our recent North American Society for Sport Management Conference, we had 23 countries represented there across six continents. Our other associations from Europe, uh, Africa, Latin America, Asia, Australia, and New Zealand, and of course NASM are working together at the present time towards a global sport management association. So therefore, it's really important, I think, that we as sport management educators teach, research, and advocate from an international perspective. 